I am liking the, the some of the surprises, and the Earth Cave wasn't so bad with, with me power leveled as I was. So I think the answer is going to be a, a general yes. Um, without grinding, it would not be very pleasant, but um, with the grinding, it should be alright. Hiding deep inside, you will find the cause of the Earth's rot. And another house. So yeah, I am enjoying the, the new explorations here, which but they would not be very fun if I wasn't massively overleveled. But I'm doing that just so that the stream doesn't have lots of repetitions and, uh, and failures. Let me move this flame staff over to... I'll move that over to you. So yeah, I'll be going into the, the bottom part of the Earth Cave now, so I should have time to finish the rest of the Earth Cave. This stream. All right, let's try that. Let's try our new flame staff, and let's see if we get the sun staff doubling on the. Well, so much for that. No, well, and probably so much for that too. Never mind. We'll try the flame staff again. Let's try her another time. Uh, no, Ark. The heal spell never crashed the game, but I don't think I ever saw the heal spell proc. To be very honest with you. I don't think the heal spell ever procs. Alright, so let's try this flame staff on this group and see what we get. See if we can put one of the, some of the crawls in the because they, they can be pretty nasty. Because I'm not sure if flame staff casts fire or fire 2. Let's see. Let's see what kind of damage I can get. Well, the dream staff is going to be ineffective on the bones. Yeah, I never saw the heal spell proc in the enemies to crash the game. At 32, 17, this looks like it's just fire 1. 36, 21, looks like it's fire 1. Yeah, maybe try dragging out a red Sahag fight. Yeah, I, I could do that. Because the flame staff looks like it's just fire 1, so not, not amazing, in other words. Yeah, Ark, maybe I will try to force it. I actually forgot about that. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, but yeah, I forgot that, that that happened to you a couple times, you used that. Um, I'll have to see if I can do that, because I think that is, if that's something that is going to be a common problem, I think that uh, the designer should know about it. Although he has he has said that this has been his kind of definitive version. I think he's, he's quote-unquote finished with it, but uh, if there is a bug like that, he probably should know about it so that he can fix it. In, a, uh, in maybe a small update. But I'm sure he would like to know that if... Uh, if that is a rule and not just something that's only happening on your machine. I am going to try this spiked hallway here because I have uh, I have the resources. So let's take a look at this spiked hallway. Alright, a red giant. Ooh, an Agama. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see if I can put some of them to sleep. No, you're right, Ark. He should still, and I'm sure, he, I'm sure he probably will still fix bugs. I think, I think what he meant by definitive version is he had no more plans of any big uh, adjustments on things. I'm sure he'll still want to fix the bugs. So uh, if I can get it to proc sometime, um, I'll see uh, under what circumstances I can get it to go, and, and then we'll pass that on to him. Because I'm, I'm planning on getting in touch with him anyway when I'm finished with this, just to let him know that. Uh, that I streamed it and, and let him know what kind of my final thoughts are about it, even though I wasn't involved in the discussion of the, the making of it. Uh, he should know that someone was uh, was streaming his his hack and uh, and what I thought about it. Okay, so there's a nice nice level up. So maybe it was just that one tile that was that was uh, spiked. It wasn't, it wasn't every every square.
All right, I will keep. I will keep yours out of there. I will keep yours. I will keep your feedback out. Um, I wasn't planning on sharing that with him anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, you're not the intended audience. You're right about that. I wasn't uh, planning on including that. Okay, so it's 24. So it's 99. Let me double check that we're still short on 96. Yeah, so it's still 94. So it's going to be one more level before I can switch out of the Silver Sword with them. And now, I think I need to go this way. Okay, so I should have actually taken that path before if it's just one quick battle. I should have taken that path before. Maybe that's what it is in the Earth Cave as well. Ooh, here's a nasty random fight. Don't love this one. Yikers. I can't remember if, if wizards, um, is this ice, the big one there is the sorcerer, okay. The wizard I don't mind so much. <laughs> is it possible to love this one? <laughs> there we go. Yes, we got our wizard and sorcerer combo. Yeah. So yeah, Ark, the last stream, I finished the last stream by getting the Atlas armlet. Uh, I was heading down, I think. Um, which casts uh, Temper on, on yourself. It's a self-targeting Temper spell. And uh, to get there, I had to go through the Hall of Giants, which is every square spiked with a giant battle. The, oh, the Crawls have heal. The, the nut jobs are the, the crawls, or the nut jobs are the wizards that have heal. I'm not sure if stream lag is, um, if you're seeing that about the wizards or the battle I'm in now, which is the crawl bone green over combo. It's the wizards, okay. Yep. So I'm glad I got to, glad I got rid of them quickly. Cause actually, I haven't, I didn't save. Um, I didn't save after that, uh, after coming out of the, of the tunnel here, so I hope I don't get a game crash. You better believe I'll be, uh, I'll be on the, on the horn with Zonk Miles if I get a game crash here. See if I can one round these guys with just attacks and, uh, Four hits. Good. <laughs> Salt in the wound. Yeah, that would be bad. Well, don't don't do it yet. A little bit too early to be salting the wounds just yet. Although now I know that this dungeon is is, is doable. It's good. So I've been doing grinding, but probably an unnecessary amount of grinding, but that it's okay, I don't mind doing grinding, as I've said several times before already, probably annoyingly so. Uh, grinding doesn't really, really bother me much. And uh, it is enjoyable streaming these, and it's nice to get feedback like uh, I got there before that... <laughs> that I got that um, I'm one of the only ones streaming these, these hacks. And I feel like this, the ROM hacking theme hackers deserve... Um, attention and notoriety, and streaming is one way to uh, kind of support the medium of ROM hacking, even if it's a, a hard type hack like this that without grinding is not set up very well for streaming. Ark, I should also update you. I, um, I'm doing a Final Fantasy V solo time mage run, and I just finished um, Atmos the other night. I just finished Atmos. my solo time mage run. So you'd be you'd be proud of me. That's been a fun one, but again not because it's my first solo time through it, I'm probably not ready to stream it. Yeah, you really like seeing restored? I'm actually considering Arc doing um, more with, with restored. I might try doing some more party 
configuration with FF Restored, because I agree that there's a lot of potential in Restored. Um, there's a lot more potential for variant runs and things with Restored. Particularly using Thieves. Using Thieves in the party would be, I think, very interesting in Restored. So it looks like my problem with the Ruby was a, was a non-issue. Um, the, the Titan that I gave it to over in Crescent Lake was uh, also the same Titan here, so I don't have to worry about being short of Ruby. I will have to say that this is probably going to be my only playthrough of Final Fantasy ZZ, so this, this stream is probably the only time I'll be playing it or streaming it, barring some kind of massive viewer demand that if hundreds of people PM me and say, I demand you stream ZZ again. Okay, so that might push him up into Silver Sword 4 hit territory. You make a cry face about about uh, rebalanced or restored? So Tito Kazumi, you're not as big a fan of that one? Alright, let's see if he has his fourth hit. Uh, yes, 97 and damage 45. Oh, Restored is hella cool, Rebalanced is not hella cool. Can you, yeah, can you, Tito Chasm, can you tell me what the, um, the difference is between Rebalanced and Restored? What kinds of things are they doing different? Or, or are they planning to do differently with Rebalanced? Because I, I, well, it was, it was never finished. Okay. Yeah, you're liking only restored arc. Okay, so Tito Cosm um, rebalance never never was finished. Okay, that's that's too bad. If it ever does get finished, I will stream it. So if the if we can get in touch with the powers that be, oops, not a heal potion. I want to test. I want to save. So we can tell the powers that be if you finish this this hack, this guy with a really low quality stream that only a few people watch. And he also does Blue Marlin speedrun. We'll uh, we'll stream it. Speaking of Blue Marlin, I put together a a seven minute um, segment in Blue Marlin speedrun the other day that I'm pretty proud of. It's not perfect, but uh, it's a nice demonstration of how the segment in Blue Marlin speed speedrun works. Thankfully, I uh, didn't stream it. Okay, thank you, 810K2. I'll pop in when I'm finished up with the Earth Cave here. Thank you very much. Okay, so it was also by Astral Esper. Okay, but, uh... But his real life got in the way. That's unfortunate, because I, I've actually meant to get in touch with Astral Esper about, about Restored, and, uh, and let him or her know, I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's he or she, uh, let them know that uh, I really enjoyed Restored. Uh, yeah, so Ark, the, the Supreme Oppressor, who, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know he was uh, doing the Blue Marlin, um, he got a, he got an under 10 minute run, and he got yeah he just got a really nice string of luck, which I always knew was was possible. Um, he just did it in in far fewer uh, attempts than I did. He also just skipped the grinding part and relied on luck, which took him a lot fewer attempts than I thought it would than than I had calculated it would. So he just he went uh, one step beyond what I did. So his his single segment run is going to be tricky to beat. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to restock my heal potion. So his single segment run is, is quite nice. I am going to try to to go after it eventually. So sometime I will be streaming Blue Marlin single segment speed runs again. So brace yourself for that. But um, I thought the segmented would be a good thing to explore. He kind of inspired me to go to go back to the Blue Marlin a little bit in my off stream time and look a little bit. I did some some more work. I, I published a back update to the Blue Marlin about uh, how some of the leveling system works. I used the memory or the memory viewer, the memory editor, and uh, looked at that. Okay, so I am rested up. I know Cry Baby Face, Cry Baby Face. I know, I know Blue Marlin speedrun streams are not uh, 
the most exciting thing in the world to watch. They're not nearly as exciting as watching a, uh, a variant run of Final Fantasy 1. Or a ROM hack run of Final Fantasy 1, I know. There's nothing as exciting as these. Nothing can beat these for just adrenaline pounding entertainment. Low paced battles. The same music over and over again. But there's a reason we must love these games. We just keep going back to them. Keep going back to the same well. Oh, that's the crybaby face. Wow. I say, Ark, you, you and your, your knowledge of Twitch chat emotes will always be beyond mine. Because I, to be very honest, I, probably I shouldn't be saying this, but I don't often participate in Twitch chats. Yeah, so Tito Cosm, the Blue Marlin is an NES fishing game. It is a, um, in my opinion, a fantastic uh, fishing game. It is way better than its, its cousin, the Black Bass, which is uh, made by the same company a year or two earlier than the Blue Marlin. But um, it's a game that... Oops, I meant to do the sun staff. It's a game that not many people know much about, but I took it upon myself to, uh, to learn a lot of its systems and do speed runs, and uh, have gotten in touch with a few other people who have good, good nostalgic memories for the Blue Marlin on NES and kind of helped me with some of the speedrun planning, and we wrote a, um, a fact for it, a, a brand new fact for game fact that, that has a lot more uh, correct information in it than the ones on there that were 10 years old. I don't mean to disparage the ones that are 10 years old, but just we didn't know as much about game programming and ROM hacking and things 10 years ago as we do now. So using memory editors and that, we've, we've looked at uh, how, how the systems work. And particularly Sonicu 2008 is uh, the one who's done most of the memory editor work with Blue Marlin. Um, I did the writing of the fact and a lot of the, the non-programming -pro stuff testing, because I'm not very good with uh, memory editors and things. I'm getting better. I'm practicing, I'm learning, but uh, I'm not there yet. But uh, another speedrunner has a has a really sick Blue Marlin time that beat mine, which I thought was going to be tough to beat, but he, he came up with a really good uh, no-grind strategy that uh, really helped him get a nice time. Alright, so back into, into the Earth Cave Earth we go. Before we do that, though, I'm going to hop away for just a second. I'll be back in 20 or 30 seconds here. Here we go. Wish me luck on Earth Cave Part 2. Oh, this is not a great start. That's unfortunate. Look at that. First battle, we get a... <laughs> we get a stone attack 
awesome. Perfect. Yeah, those wizard mummies and their, um... And their glance attack, I think. Is that is it, is it glance they're doing? They have they have curse and glance and everything else. Hello, Ben Rayburn. Welcome to the stream. Good to hear from you again, my friend. This is a uh, a Final Fantasy One ROM hack that uh, bumps up the difficulty and changes some of the weapons and spells and enemies and also some of the dungeon layouts. Art, you can see. Here they've altered the, the path on this floor. It's a very small adjustment. They've made it kind of one long windy path through this floor. Uh, let's see if we can get all these guys in one round. Let's do them one round this battle. I might be overstretching myself a little bit. So let's see if we can one round these guys. Well, did he get his attack off yet? Yeah, he did. Excellent. We can one round these guys. Cool. So I've already beaten the vampire and come back out, and now Lich is my next target, and then that'll be... I'll probably finish the stream after I beat Lich. Yes, Ark, I have to agree with you on that, that uh, the one windy path is a little bit less exciting, less engaging, I guess, than... Um, than, than it used to be. Even though th there was, there were fewer. I think I'm to remember just from what I can remember on it. I think there still was was only one or two ways to get through it, but um, it it made it look more intimidating. It made it look more scary. I guess there were a few dead ends, but I'm I'm just trying to pull from my memory this floor. I just I know the way through it now. I don't really know how to get lost in it anymore. In the NES version, I mean. Yeah, if you had spike corridors, yep. At least the bats still get in your way in this game. But you can see there's there's really no deviation. There is one treasure room down there, but I've already picked it up. Um, so there is there is one path deviation you can take. But I got that treasure on my last run through, so it should be pretty quick. I grabbed that treasure already. And we should be back at the vampire's floor here momentarily. All right, so the getting ambushed, well, we'll just fight, because getting ambushed means that the battle is runnable. I think they kept that rule consistent into this hack from the NES version. So any battle that you can get, either a preemptive or a back attack. So yeah, that's 26. Yeah, Arch, you can see from my grinding, I was grinding at the pencil of power. You can see how big a difference my... Uh, my levels are from my fighters getting stoned so much. Ooh, this one, that could... Alright, so the Soria didn't get a stone. The Sorias have a, um, a stone status attack. So they actually are quite nasty. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get two, two fighters on the Soria, because they can, they can do more nasty stuff to me. And I can't quite get him in one hit from... Now, the fighter might have gotten in one hit. Yes, no, Ark, you're right. If someone croaked, uh, it would be a quick trip. And uh, if the red, the red mages still wouldn't have access to life, I don't think. I think life is a red wizard only. But yeah, you're right. It was a quick trip out to the world map. Uh, I'm not sure why the walking times were increased. I, know, I mean, I know just every little bit to drain your resources more. <laughs> um, but but walking times on the world map, I'm I'm a little bleh on on adding walking times on the world map. Let's just run. I could I could cast harm from the from that um, staff, but harm is not quite as effective if, if you're not fighting them. And you see, I have a nice little shortcut right to the. Uh, all right, so yeah, I will. I'll use. You know what? I'll use the flame. I'll see what kind of damage I can get from the flame staff and the harm staff. Yes, Ark, you are a, always sunshine and rainbows. That's just who you are. <laughs> That's just who you are. Ooh, see, this is nasty. This is nasty because getting crits like that on that character is not super great. Because he's dead. 
but now I, I don't have him for my Lich fight. <laughs> Alright. So you like the wide open dungeon design? Yeah, well of course that was the game that was released. Where they, they had more wide open dungeon designs. Yes, an arc, you're right. Why have all those levels if you don't need... If you only need to be level 25 to beat the game? Those are those are all very true. But, uh, so we'll see how I can get the rest of this thing with one fighter down. That's a little scary. Whoops. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad it strike first because, um... I forgot to my guys back around. Yeah, so now I need to try taking on Lich with just three. Alright. I, I think that text is a little different. I think it's you sense something evil, I think is the, um, is, is the NES text there. Alright. <clears throat> Let's do it. Um, how, how are my hit point totals? And is there any? Okay, so he has the Atlas Gauntlet, so he's better set. Yeah, no, Ark, I'm not gonna bolt. Um, I'm not gonna run. I, I am just gonna see what I can do down here in the bottom because it it really didn't take me very long to get down to this floor. Um, it, it's nice that he built those shortcuts in. Although I could. I could warp out, I guess, because there is a warp on that floor. But, um... It shouldn't take me too long to get down to the bottom with, with these floors set up the way they are. Oops. He's got the dream staff. Yeah, it's a flame staff. Not, not too much damage from that. Yeah, really not much from that flame staff. See if I can sleep some of the snakes. Yeah, so if if it does turn out that Lich um, smokes me, then at least I'll know <laughs> that Lich can smoke me without much trouble. You read the final dungeon has healing spots. Wow. Um, I had not. I had not read that. I mean, this one does have a nice, convenient uh, warp tile. I guess I could have used that to, to get out, but I'll give it a try. There's 27 with her image, so you can see the the difference that having all those stone spells makes. And then also just the getting paralyzed and then getting crit critical hits forward on you. Let's see if I can just get through here quick. See, these no escape battles are not uh, not awesome for me. If I can just get the zombie there. See, that was doing pretty pretty good on health, but just to show, goes to show you in, in either the NES or a variant version of this game, you know, you're you're never more than just one RNG roll away from getting killed. But that also applies to the NES version, of course, too. Not just not just hacks. In any version of this game, you're always one bad roll away. I don't want to take that extra step. Come on, Beth. and no escape from these guys. See, at least I'm learning... At least I'm learning what uh, what I'm up against here. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing what, what's coming up. Seeing these... What's in, what's in these chests. Because if there's something that I don't want in these chests, then I won't have any reason to come back if I do get nerfed. Um, T 
Mosquito Kazim, I, I don't think all of them shared a tile set with with a boss battle. Um, because some of the some of the random ones like airs and waters and stuff were, were inescapable. I don't think they were all tile battles, but I could be wrong there. Um, that's just my guess. I mean, of course, there's the classic example of wizards always being unrunnable. Um, I'd have to pull up my Final Fantasy 1 algorithms guide. Alright, here, here, here's this battle again. This battle's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, and yes, ghosts, the ghosts were nasty. Yes, the ghosts were very nasty, and I'm assuming that ghosts are just as nasty in this version as they were in the NES version. <laughs> That's just, I'm, I'm taking that as a matter of course. Okay. Bone and the oh the and the gray worms. Okay, cause yeah, the gray worms shadow armor. I don't think any of my guys can equip this. Uh, I think this is just a ninja black belt equipment, if I read correctly. All right, so all right, so if I do get nerfed, I don't want to come back down here because it's just a house and some stuff that I don't need. House and shadow armor and money. So I'll have to remember that. I did read in, uh, in the, um, the readme of this one that, that all of the elemental weapons have been taken out. So all of the, so there's no coral sword down here for me to look for. So but I do wonder if there's another sword that's a little better down here. Um, although I've already got silver swords from down here. I got two silver swords on my first, uh, first crawl of this dungeon. Oops, no. I want the Zombo. So I don't know if there, if there is some kind of other better weapon down here to replace with that or not. One thing I have enjoyed is the is some some of the new items and the new spells. Uh, even though I haven't been using all of them because I picked the red mages that uh, aren't aren't as versatile or as powerful. All right, so I did take the, the long way through here. I don't know if this floor has been altered or not. Here's a nice battle! Yay! Do you feel that it's uh, balanced, not the way you would balance it, Ark, in this from, from difficulty? That it's been a little bit cranked up too much, or, or not carefully? Alright, I'm glad I got the sorcerer out of there. I can take the, the wizard. Uh, yes, Tito Kazim, when I started this hack, um, it was after finishing... It was after finishing a stream of the Final Fantasy Restored. And I thought, hey, I've got some time. I'm still streaming. There's still some folks here. Let me fire up this uh, ZZ um, and see what it looks like. And I thought, we'll just kind of play around with it. We'll just we'll explore it a little bit. And so I just picked the standard, as you as you said, I picked the standard NES Power Party. Um, and because I like the red hats. Little trivia fact about me: when I was a young kid. Uh, I dressed up as a Final Fantasy One Red Mage as a Halloween costume to show you, give you an idea of what my Red Mage enthusiasm was like as a youngster. There's an instant death spell, so this is definitely not going to be right. But yeah, so that's why I picked this party. I hadn't really read the FAQ for the game. All right, this is bad. Yes, Tito Kazim, I wish I had a picture of it. I don't think I have a I don't think I have a picture of it, but it was pretty awesome. I had a I had a red cape and a red hat and a white wig. And Ark says now we bolt and I now agree. <laughs> oh shoot, no, this is unrunnable encounter. I I forgot. I forgot. Yes, well, so now that we're all adults, 
um, you can think about having your own Red Mage Halloween costume. Because it was a pretty, it was a pretty sick costume. And I had a, I had, I remember for the feather, I didn't have a white feather, but, um, I had a collection of pheasant feathers. Uh, pheasants are, they might not be from every part of the world that, that you guys are, they're from Asia and, and also in America, and, uh, also in Europe, but yeah, they have long, long tail feathers. So I had a pheasant feather as my uh, feather hat. Yes, the unrunnables they do add to level discrepancy. Yes, you're absolutely right. What? Because you can't you can't get out of a battle. See, here's another one, another unrunnable, which I, I don't think I'm gonna survive. But at least I know now where things are. I mean, now I know the the chests that I that I don't want to explore. Yes. Ooh. All right. If I go first, I can actually make it out of this battle. Cool. Yes, you want to talk about level discrepancy now. I'm gonna to try to make it out, but it's not it's not likely that I will, but I'm gonna try. I can probably I can see about getting to the warp tile on the previous floor, but it's just if I run into too many of these unrunnable battles and, and not killing that zombie was bad news. Uh, let's see. Fire two should kill the zombie. Yep. I might not kill the snake. Did kill the snake. All right. Cool. More heal potions. Oh yes, the warp tile did have two spike fights. You're right, Shahali. Thank you for reminding me of that. You are right. Oh, this is it. This is gonna be the game. You're right, that's gonna be the game. Right there. So that's what can happen when you play the game. To be very honest, that this probably was a lot faster um, than me going all the way back out and um, coming all the way back down. It probably was just faster for me to get out of here. Yeah, so. That's what that's what can happen. That's it's GG. Four um four, four zombies in the, in an unrunnable battle is uh is not great. You can see the the enemy sets down there really drastically spike up. So I understand Ark what you're saying about the the enemy sets and the unrunnable encounters really ramping up quickly. Because up here they're they're mostly pretty harmless. You know, these guys can sleep you, the wizard mummies can stone, but having having four zombies and the, that zombie cobra combo is pretty rough, and having those all be unrunnable. Okay, the red goyle. I think with all four of us, we should be able to have enough damage to take him out. Yeah, fun fact, you're right, in my last trip, and, and Ark, maybe, I mean, maybe once you hit that floor, maybe every battle, once you hit floor four, the fourth floor, maybe they are all unrunnable. They, I mean, they might all be. <laughs> Hard to say. But yeah, once you lose a character, it's pretty, pretty rough. Alright, but I've got a shortcut to the the slab here now. I'm glad they built that in. Here's a strange... This is a strange combo. I don't think I've seen this particular combo yet. I think that warrants a fire too. Um, and you will know, just take out one of the gargoyles. Or just fight for game design. Yes, Ark, as ever, the ray of sunshine is still shining through.
I mean, I'm, I'm confident I have enough levels to get through, just if luck lines up for me correctly. Having Getting getting the fighter uh, nerfed as early as I did on that last one was was pretty bad. Four Zombles, Unrunnable, and then getting all those crits in a row was not great. But I'll have to keep him just a little bit closer to full, I guess, if I can. Yeah, so here's three. Bit. I want to save my spell charges as much as I can. Especially my fire threes for Lich, because I'm really not sure what to expect with Lich. Okay, that's nice damage, finally. But it's just casting fire one. Yes, now Shahali, that's a very good point. That, um... Getting, getting, getting a character killed really sets you back, and uh, and that does happen in in FF1. But as as Ark also pointed out there, and I'm sure you, I'm sure you also you know have, you saw that, or may, maybe you missed that before. Um, making the world map as inconvenient uh, as it is makes makes it a lot bigger deal to to bolt out of the dungeon and. Um, you know, get get yourself out. And and restore that character to health and happiness. And so this fight, boy oh boy, I tell ya. This is a nasty one. It's like I'm never sure what to do. Okay, because the sorcerers, if I don't get a good attack on them and a good roll right away. That's, that's curtains. And I know these guys are resisting stuff. Yeah, just puts a lot in your way. This, this game uh, puts, puts a lot of obstacles in your way. But that's why you, you know, that's why you play it. You know, we play it for the obstacles, for the challenge. Um, I'm hoping to, to say that I was able to play through the game and Hopefully, you'd be able to say that I streamed the whole thing, which would be kind of fun. Uh, I did not check up in this room. I know the other treasure room is not what I want. But I missed going up into this treasure room, so we'll see what's in here. If we can. I'm sure there'll be more spiked squares. I'm going to take advantage of a runnable battle while I can. Here we go. Because the runnable battles are so rare. I don't know if it's a matter of, of cojones. Ooh, this is a nice treasure room, but am I going to get first square spike? But that square spike. Okay, but these battles are not too bad, actually. The Sphinx ooze combo is not great. Yes, there's lots of pullovers. I, normally on these Tito Chasm, normally on these runs, I keep track of how many game overs um, I, I run into, but when I was fighting the pirates in Provoca, which the pirates have been extremely bumped up. I think Ark was there. Ark will remember. And some, I think Shahali May too have been there. Um, they will all remember. Duel <laughs> over slots. Yes. Duel over slots. I like that. So nothing huge in here. I'm going to try to remember what's in here in case I do get uh, taken out again. Try to remember if this is worth the extra steps in the battle. Alright, here's another trap. And it's the same, okay, same kind of battle, so not too bad. And I think the Sphinxes are... Ooh, okay, yeah. The Sphinxes, I think, can be put to sleep. Yeah, yeah, Ark is correct. The pirates had a ton of health. They had a really high magic resistance stat, which was, was, was really... That was strange, that they had a really high magic resistance. Uh, they kind of caught me by surprise. Yeah, 
yeah, and and Ark did, yeah, he did have access to the confused spell, but uh, the red, I don't think the red mages have access to the to the confused. Tito Kazim, your your frowny angry face. Everything okay? There's 27. Yep, that was all I could do with this party was just try to um, get past getting a couple of them. Cause yeah, them having the sleep on on their status attack was pretty rough. Okay, so fog to to try to get that. Okay, that would be all right. That'd be all right. I mean, there there are ways to do it. I just didn't pick a versatile enough party. Another silver armor. There better be something worthwhile in here. All right, no, there's not really. Um, yeah. There's there's enough ways to get through them, with with sleep and confuse and other things. But uh, I just didn't have access to that stuff with my red mages because I took a party that's just not very versatile. Which was, which was my fault, but uh, this was just going to be kind of a little a lark, but it turned it up into, uh, once I had done so much grinding with that party to be able to beat the pirates, it turned into, uh, no, I'm going to play this thing through, no matter how much I need to grind. Okay, every turn is 80. Okay, so you don't... Shahali, your opinion, fog doesn't uh, add enough to protect you from it? I don't know. I didn't, uh... Once I was done with the pirates, I kind of mentally checked out of any thinking about pirates. I wanted to stop thinking about them. Although, they, they weren't really all that all that bad. You know, it took, took a while, and it was on stream, so it was kind of, uh, kind of embarrassing. Um... So Tito Kazim, I do not off the top of my head remember if this has, um, I, I believe it does have stacking buffs. I, I do think Temper and stuff does stack. Maybe someone else can confirm or deny that. Um, but yeah, so the, yeah, the, the, you know what, I'm gonna try to sleep with the name. Yeah, the, the status effect definitely can, can stack on, but, um, I wonder if you're referring to things like Temper adding more and more and more um, attack power. Because I, I believe that uh, that they can. That you can cast Temper more than once. Not but. Does this have stacking but? <laughs> I don't... I can't speak about stacking buts, but... Um, I believe Temper and Saber probably can, can stack okay. Yeah, fog, temper, and viz. Yes, I believe I believe those do stack as as normal. Am I going the wrong way here for this stuff? Am I going back towards this? I think I might be going back towards that other treasure room. At least I'm high enough level to get one of those scorpions to run away. Wish more would have instead of poisoning me. Yes, that's right. They had, they were buffed that much, and there were still nine of them. Yes. So it was really... <laughs> so it was really not much that a regular party at regular level... No, yeah, this is the wrong way. There was not much that a regular party at regu regular levels was going to do about them. Sadly. Um, also, sadly, I don't... Uh, these are... This is really draining my, my stock here. Unrunnable battles. So that's that's another thing that unrunnable battles do is it is it really drains your spell supply because normally I would run try to run from this battle or a battle that's as threatening as this. But instead, I'm having to use my my fire damage, my charges to get through. So, and even with that, I don't I don't get them. Too bad. This should do it. Yeah, 
it was enough to make us all kind of laugh and frown to the uh, pirates as powerful as they were. Alright. Need to make sure I'm going the, the right way here. And I'm gonna keep pouring on the, the heal potion. Um, 97. Good there. Yeah, so he still needs one more before I can change that over. Here we go. Yeah, when they're when they're confused, they they go after each other. They don't just cast the fire spell on on each other too. If I remember correctly, they change that little bit so that um, when enemies are confused, instead of just casting the equivalent of a fire spell on themselves or each other. They, uh, they do something more akin to their normal attack, with their normal attack power, which is not insignificant.